Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to solve and graph this absolute value inequality. So to do a problem like this, basically what we need to look at is um, creating our two cases. So we need to create our two cases. Um, and one, we're going to have y is greater than 3. Then we need to take the case of y is greater than negative 3. But remember, when we're negating a side, that's like multiply and divide by negative 1. So we need to make sure we flip the sign. The next thing is to understand that this, what this inequality represents. This inequality symbol, and when we create a compound inequality, is going to give us an or compound inequality. So in graphing an or compound inequality, basically what we want to do is make sure we include these two values. So let's start at 0. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. OK, so now I'm going to put a point at each one of these. And what I notice is this is y is greater than 3. Well, it's greater than, not greater than equal to. So therefore, it's going to be open. Now again, if I'm thinking y, the values that are greater than 3, well, is that going to be 4 or is that going to be 2? Well, of course, 4 is greater than 3. So therefore, all other values to the right are going to be greater than. And then this states y is less than negative 3. So since it's less than, not less than or equal to, this point is also not going to be a part of the solution, so we'll leave it open. And then which values are less than, negative 4 or negative 2? Well, all values to the left are going to be negative. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve and graph your absolute value inequality. Thanks.